Hey guys, so I'm going to resume where we left off on our design system playlist. We previously created checkbox and radios. We also created the buttons. So I'm gonna go ahead and create text fields now. So similar to what we've done with the base button, I'm gonna create a base text field component. In this text field components, I wanna have um, text fields which are basically reflective of the size that I have above for the base button. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna choose a stroke which is gonna be an 80, which is neutral 80, sorry. Yeah, neutral 80 or maybe even neutral 60. Let's just see how that looks. I think 60 st still looks a bit sharp. I wanna maybe make it neutral 40 or neutral 50 is fine, I think. So I think neutral 50 or maybe 40 is fine. Let's just go ahead and actually do it first and then figure that out. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say we have a placeholder. So let's just go ahead and reduce the size of the placeholder to small since this is the small variant of the input field. Make it regular. So here we have this and then let's just go ahead and actually add an icon. So I'm gonna say we have the profile icon maybe or the user icon on the left. So here we have the icon, the font size is 12. So let's just go ahead and make this 14, 14 and position it like this. So both of these things are in auto layout. Let's just go ahead and make this and let's just go ahead and duplicate one icon on the right as well and change this to down maybe. And obviously these icons would be changeable. Like once you actually go ahead and once we have this component, anyone can go ahead and use the instance to change the icons. So now I'm gonna make this an auto layout. Let's just go ahead and do, first of all, make it fixed and, sorry, not fixed. Make this fixed, the height fixed, and make this centered. So now that we have it centered, let's just go ahead and command zero and see how it looks. I think the size looks good. The spacing is also good. So without further to do, let's just go ahead and actually change the color. So in this color, we're gonna say this is gonna be N50, or maybe not N50, this can be N80, and then this can also be N80. So I think in the default state, this probably looks fine. Yeah, I think this is fine. So now that we have that, this is gonna be our base uh, text field variant. And in this text field variant, let's just go ahead and name this to left content. Let's name this right icon. And this, let's name this icon, left icon. And let's make sure that we're do you using the same uh, terminology while well, we're using icon right and icon left. So let's just go ahead and do that the same here for uh, our text field component. Now that we have that done, we can remove uh, our button. Let's just change that to a text field component. Sorry, the base underscore text field underscore base minus text field component since that particular component is going to be used in a lot of different places. So now that we have that, let's just go ahead and actually, let me just go ahead and rename this page to text fields. So now that we have this text field, let's just go ahead and actually click the plus button and we're gonna have our multiple variants here. So let's make this an auto layout, have it sideways and give a spacing of 32 pixel in between. So in this particular instance, what we wanna do is we wanna create, let's say three variants, which are gonna obviously gonna be our size variant. So let's just name this to size. The first one is small. The second one should be medium. In the medium case, we obviously want the size to be consistent to our buttons, which is 36, 40, and 48. Let's just confirm if that was the size. So it's 40, 32, 40, and 48. So uh, I need to go ahead and reduce my uh, small, text field so they are consistent with the buttons let's just go ahead and actually say that the spacing on the left and the right should be 12 and the spacing here should be 4 so let's just see how that looks um, I think that probably looks fine so let's just keep that and say that in this case since it's the regular size or the medium size we want to choose the regular size here we want to choose the 18 pixel size for the icons here and I think the left and right spacing is fine. So let's just go ahead and confirm that. I think it is fine. Also, I think the border can be reduced here and 40 is probably fine. So let's just go ahead and keep that. And then on the last variant, we wanna have a size of large and the, the size is also gonna be 48. 
Similarly, since it's large, we want to choose the large font size here. We want to change that to 22, maybe, uh, or maybe not 22, 24. Let's just go ahead and center align this. The spacing in between the text and the icon can be a bit more. And this can also be 24, or maybe it can just be 20. Let's see how that looks. So if we have a 20, command zero. I think this looks fine too. Let's just try 24 again. And 24 is fine as well. And since we want to stick to our four pixel or eight pixel grid, I think maybe 24 is fine as well. The spacing on the left and the right instead of 14 here should actually be 20 since, or maybe 20 is a bit too much, 18. Even though I am slightly hesitant on giving this 18, 18 is actually looking fine, but we can also give it 16. So I think 16 is fine. And then here we have 14 and here we have 12. So 12, 14, 16, I think that's a good increment. So now that we have our base component done, we can go ahead and create some arch, some overarching styles for these text fields. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to create a component on top of it. I'm going to say this is going to be a text field and this is the uh, default state. In the default state, obviously we have the placeholder and stuff. So let's just go ahead and click plus to get a new variant. Let's make it an auto layout. Let's span it and make it 32 pixel spacing. So this is our base text field. However, this one is actually our text field component. Or let's just call it text field. Let's just give it some spacing. Now here, what we want to do is we want to have different states, right? So I'm going to say we want to add a new property and this property, well, actually we already have a property. So I'm going to say this is going to be our state. And let's see if we, if you're using the same term state for our buttons. So yes, type state and then icon. So in that case, let's just go ahead and do that. So here we have our state. So first we had the state, which is going to have the default state, which obviously is just indicating uh, the text field empty. We want to have a focused state. In the focused state, we want to have um, the outline. Instead of N40, we want to have our primary color. So I'm going to say the primary color is, is going to be our outline. And I think everything else should remain the same. We can also go ahead and we can say that this outline kit should be two pixels. I think that's probably okay as well. So let's just go ahead and duplicate it and say that in uh, our other state is going to be the value state when the input itself has the value. So I'm let's instead of duplicating that, let's just duplicate this one and say this is value. And in the value case, the text in, is actually going to use our body color. And I think the icon itself can also use the body color here and then here. Maybe I'm just thinking, let me think about, it. or maybe the icons can actually still be still be dim i think even if we keep even if we keep them dim sorry i'm actually changing the focus state by mistake so this is our value state and in the value state just that just this is going to be our body and i think this is fine so i think those are the three states we need for our inputs though probably sorry one more we want to have the disabled state obviously so this is going to be our disabled state and whether we want to have the disabled as a state or whether we want to do it separately that's for up to this up to us to decide but i think even if we just give it a state that's going to be fine let's just see what we're doing with the buttons so in the buttons yes disabled is a state so let's just be consistent and keep it a state in this case we want to say that our base text field is going to have a background of a neutral let's see neutral maybe 20 and i think in this case we don't need a border maybe I think just having this is perfectly fine. So I think let's just go with that. So here we have our states done. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove the auto layout since now we're actually gonna vertically duplicate them as well. So one thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna complete my text field variant for one size. It's still not done. I actually wanna have another instance where I actually go ahead, let me just go ahead and actually create a property for that. So this is gonna be our icon left. Let's just confirm if we're doing the same for button. No, we actually are doing icon and then whether it's the left icon or right icon. So let's just go ahead and do the same. I'm going to say that <clears throat> one thing actually we actually did not do for the button and but maybe I want to I actually want to do 
for this particular component is I want to have both icons by default. So both. So in this initial state, we can have both icons enabled by default. Um, then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to duplicate it, give 24 pixel spacing, and I'm going to say only the left icon will be visible in this case. So let me just go ahead and hide the right icon. And instead of, let's say, just going ahead and hiding it like this, I'm actually going to go ahead and, well, let me just go ahead and say that this is also going to be a fixed width. And now I can, if I go ahead and hide the icon, as you can see, nothing is, the size isn't changing. So let's just go ahead and hide all of the right icons. So this indicates that the left icon is visible. Let's just also change that to left icon. And also go ahead and duplicate this and say this is going to be right icon. You can also go ahead and say leading and trailing, but a lot of people, especially who are not native users, may not necessarily understand what native means. So, oh, sorry, leading and trailing icon means. So, <clears throat> which is why I'm actually keeping it <clears throat> as left and right. One problem I have identified here is I haven't actually given a given this a fill container, so I have to do that, and I have to give a spacing of zero or maybe twelve is fine here. Similarly, I want to select both of these and say twelve and then say that in both these cases, this should actually span completely. And similarly, this placeholder inside should also span completely. So now that I have that done, let's just go ahead and actually enable our icon right here. Let's just disable the icon left here, icon right enabled, icon left disabled, and similarly here, icon right and then icon left. Sorry, icon right. So in this case, we have our icon right, icon left enabled and disabled. One other thing we want to do is we want to still, let's say, preserve a variant where none of the icons are available, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to say this is going to be none. And we're going to say that in this case, all of the icons here should just be disabled. So I think that pretty much sums up what our component is going to look like for the small variant. And now that we have that done, we can go ahead and we can say that I want to select all of these. Well, even before that, let's just go ahead and add a new property saying size. And in the size thing, we're going to say that we already did the size for the small variant. Let's just go ahead and create one for the medium variant. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to basically position it 48 pixels. And I'm going to say this is going to be medium. Now, now that I have all of these selected, I'm just going to press, first of all, I'm going to move all of these to the bottom and I'm going to press enter. Now that I have this press entered, I'm just going to say that this is going to be medium. Uh, one minor mistake is, that I've done here is I've actually not given it substantial spacing, which obviously is causing this issue. So in order to do that, I can go here and I can say 24 and then 24. That's the spacing I want across all of the components that I have. Similarly, I'm gonna go here 24 and then 24. So that's fine. Let's just go ahead and duplicate our medium icons now. First of all, I'm gonna collapse all the layers, duplicate our medium icons and position it at 48 pixels. Gonna say this is gonna be our large variant, press enter and choose the large size here. I'm gonna press shift enter to select all of the above ones say that the spacing in between them is also going to be 24 24 and here we have our text field <clears throat> component created so now if i go and basically just one thing that i want to do uh, just see if everything is perfectly aligned so small medium large the icons should the icons be disabled by default disabled or enabled by default that is something i leave up to you if you want them to be disabled by default you can just move this none towards the top if you want them enabled by default, you can just have the both there. So now if I, let's say, go ahead and drag something like this, this is gonna be our input. I can obviously go ahead and type something. This is going to be a really long text. And as you can see, this thing should also be responsive, which it currently isn't, so that's a problem. I'm gonna go ahead and select all of these and press enter again and say that the base, now that I have the base text field that's actually inside and I'm gonna scale it. To fill the container so now that i have done that as you can see i can scale it everything is respecting that now i can go ahead and say this can be medium um, and resize it or do whatever i can say this will be focused value the icon should just be the right icon 
And I can do all of those funky things that you would expect from a complicated component like this. I also want to go ahead and actually create a component right after this, which is going to be a component that's going to live on top of this, which would allow users to enable to use these text fields as a form element or as a form group. What that would allow users to do is have a label on top of it as well and have a hint and a error state and above it as well. So if a person wants, they can use that form component as well. And we'll be covering that in the next video. That would be all for now. Do subscribe to hit the bell icon. If you have any questions or comments, definitely let me know. But I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.